ever wondered your emotions could be the reason behind your chronic pain if not make sure to watch this video till the end let's begin hello friends my name is physiotherapist meghna dave and welcome to youtube channel health cube the place where our mission is to not only motivate you but help you to move on to the brighter side of the health in today's video as you heard the title right we are going to talk about how your emotion plays a role when it comes to your chronic pain in my previous video i have already explained that the sources of pain comes from various aspect it could be a muscle pain where the muscle has undergone strain spasm or some sort of weakness and that is causing pain sometimes your pain can come from inflammation sometimes your pain can come come from your neuroplastic changes and sometimes the pain can also come from your nerve damage or neuropathic pain but sometimes the pain can be psychosomatic what is psychosomatic pain after covid a lot of people have realized that their emotions their mental health has gone to loss there were so many patients who felt way more pain compared to pre covid time there were many reasons to that but there were studies which proved that even your emotions play a very crucial role in your pain sensation There is a study which was done by Harvard Medical School which said that your pain could be the outcome of the negative emotions that you are feeling on a consistent level. Negative emotions like anger, frustration, helplessness, panic, all this negative emotion inhibit your ability to release natural pain killers inside your brain which are your endorphins. This also leads to repeated spasm it also leads to impaired breathing patterns whenever your breathing pattern is affected it will change the pattern of your muscle function as well whenever you start breathing from your chest your neck muscles starts coming into the action whenever your neck muscles are functioning way more than normal eventually they become weak they become tight and that leads to a lot of trigger points that develops these trigger points then eventually become chronic and can become more painful so whenever you're feeling a negative emotion that feeling of pain will also increase not only because of the physical aspect but even from a neuroplastic aspect yes because every pain memory is being stored inside the brain brain you the brain uses it for your reference so whenever you will feel negative it will start as a vicious cycle this vicious cycle will make the pain experience worse every single time and that's why there are many patients who feel this way that i am trapped inside a net or in some jail this pain has entrapped me and does not allow me to go out if you are also someone who is feeling this then you should also identify that somewhere whether you want it or not your pain has now become associated with your emotions as well most of the time people who are in chronic pain or acute pain feel irritated feel agitated they don't feel like trusting someone and these emotions don't allow them to get out of this so it's important to take control So what are the steps you can take to control over these emotions or over this pain bouts? Number one thing that you can do is to act fast. Whenever you are going into your chronic pain or as your pain episode, your body will give some signs. Try to listen them. Don't ignore your early signs. The faster you act, the better it is. But now you will ask me what exactly I should do when I start feeling that okay now the pain is going to get worse. Number one thing that you should do is breathing. Your breathing pattern changes as soon as your emotions alter. That's why it's important to sit down, bring back your focus on your abdominal breathing. Whenever you are stressed out, you will observe that you will breathe from chest. You will raise your chest and you will not breathe from your abdomen. So try to put your hand over your tummy. Breathe in When you will breathe in your tummy should move out and when you breathe out the tummy should move in it's like a balloon if you are able to master this practice eventually you will observe that your pain will come under control that's number one thing number two thing be okay with your emotions many a times people struggle with their emotions 
they don't want these emotions to come and they are forcing them to go away but if you accept them if you be at peace with them and let go eventually they will go away the best way to overcome this is with the help of meditation make sure to do 10 minutes of meditation every single day to learn to come uh, to have a control over this emotion not let these emotions overpower you number 3 way of working on your emotions and pain is to distracting your brain or diverting your brain to something which is more creative something which is more energizing and something that you like doing it could be music therapy it could be art therapy it could be anything that you love doing engage yourself in doing that number 4 is time management sometimes people find it frustrating to find time to do self care or to do things that they want to do and that frustration even sometimes manifests in the form of this pain so make sure to figure out these times for yourself by practicing time management activities like planning in the morning it could be many things it would be like different for every single person but if you work on that definitely it will work and number 5th thing that you can do in order to bring these emotions also under control is regular exercise if you exercise on a regular basis if you keep yourself regularly active you will release happy hormones in the body this happy hormones will also help you out in controlling this pain i definitely know that this is very easy to say than do but trust me if you practice and try to bring small changes every single day you will definitely observe better dif- uh, you will definitely observe benefits of this i definitely believe that you can do this and through this video i'm trying to just give you that guidance help you rehab as a digital community and visit therapy platform which is online plus offline so make sure to download our app what will happen when you download the app you can book consultation with expert physiotherapist in different domains you can buy programs which are customized curated for different health conditions you can buy products that we recommend and we have tested and we absolutely like and you can watch a lot of our videos on this platform so what are you waiting for go ahead download the health curie hub app i hope you found this guidance this tips this explanation helpful if you feel that i can be of your help or we can be of your help feel free to reach out all the connection details contact details are mentioned in the description box below on that note i'll end this video here and i'll see you in another video thank you